Welcome to ProLine Daily, courtesy of Vegas Sportsmasters. We're going to take a look at some college and NBA games going on Monday. First, I want to remind you, Jim Feist has a special on Monday. Seven days of plays for 39 bucks. That covers you right through the weekend. Sunday, it's going to include an inner circle release going tonight. Jim nailed Michigan as an inner circle play. $50 play online by itself. You can get one of those plus the entire week for 39 bucks by calling Vegas Sportsmasters at 888-777-4155. All right, let's start with this uh, Illinois State game, college tournament game, NIT game going on for Monday. You got Central Florida heading, heading to Illinois State, and you get the total here has actually gone up from 127 to 128. The money's come in on Illinois State from a four-point favorite to five and a half, but the way to look at this game – kind of a high total here or an average total anyway and yet these are two of the best defensive teams in the country illinois state is a number one seeded team they are fifth in the nation in field goal shooting defense 37.8 percent well the team they're playing central florida is number one in the nation 36.4 shooting from the field by opponents so these are two dominant defensive teams and yet uh, totally here is just about uh, average in the 130 range a 128, which is a bit surprising, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a defensive game here. And some of the trends to keep in mind, Central Florida, when they come in, when they're playing on the road, facing a team with a winning percentage at home over 60%, that's 9-4 and four under the total. And then you get Illinois State with that great defense. All the trends point toward an incredible team under the total as a, in the role of favorite, 21-9-1 and one under the total. As a home favorite, 53 and 25 under the total. So uh, this seems like a, a another defensive war between two outstanding teams. Let's take a look at this Boise State Illinois game. The money's coming all in on the Big Ten. They opened six and a half point favorite last night. Now up to eight and a half with a total of 145. Boise State comes in with 20 wins. It's actually more than the Illinois has, but. Boise State is not covering games. Two and eight spread runs, and it's a bit of a road trip for them here. Meanwhile, the Illini playing at home on a nice run here. Five and two straight up, or five and two against the spread run, but at home even better, nine and four against the spread. They have a nice advantage in this game. And keep in mind, when Illinois steps up to play, or steps down actually to play non-conference competition, uh, nine and four under the total. In addition, they're on a nine and three under the total run overall. All right, let's jump to the NBA. Got some interesting games going tonight. Washington and Boston, a couple of teams battling for that number two, three, and four seed in the Eastern Conference. And Vegas money has come in on the Celtics. One and a half point home favorite, now up to three. And the totals come down. So the some of the betting public and the sharps are looking at a defensive game here, down to 214.5. Boston is actually a very good defensive team in the top 10 in field goal shooting defense. They've been on a terrific underrun the last couple months, but Washington, too, has also been hot. The thing about Washington, great offensive team, but they're not that good on the road. They actually have a losing road record in Boston, very sharp at home and on the road. And the Warriors, or the Wizards, really haven't been covering a lot of games of late when they're playing on one day of rest. Washington Wizards won 10 and 1 against the spread. Celtics are in a second of a back-to-back -back spot after playing rival Philadelphia last year, but the depth that they have has really helped them in that role. Boston playing on no day's rest, 43-20 and 20 against the spread. Talked about the Boston defense being much better than people think. Well, they're on a 10-2-2 and two run under the total. They do play pretty good defense, a very good defense for this coaching staff despite the up-tempo offensive attack. Meanwhile, Washington, kind of a mixed bag in that department. Defense is better at home, but they love to run and gun. They're on a 9-1 and one run over the total, 8-3 and three over against the Western Conference. So what happens when Boston and Washington meet? Well, the over is 6-2 and two, the last eight meetings. The home team is 6-2 and two against the spread. The last 16 meetings, they're high-scoring games, 11-5 and five over the total. And the Wizards, when they head to Boston, just 0-4 oh against the spread. And Boston, a short home favorite tonight. Got a big game here with Golden State and Oklahoma City matching up. Golden State has really dominated this Oklahoma City team this season, winning all three games comfortably, but Kevin Durant is not in the lineup. And you got the Oklahoma City Thunder not getting the money here at home. Four-point home dog. Oh, I'm sorry, they are getting the money, but they're still an underdog at home. One-and-a-half-point underdog at home. Golden State a short 
favorite here, and the total's gone up too to 222. So they're anticipating an up tempo game, which means Russell Westbrook is going to run like mad. Not surprising. Let's take a look at some of the numbers here. Golden State is number one in the NBA in field goal shooting defense, in addition to being number one on offense. Very unusual to have both like that. That's why they win, and that's why they're a team to look at under the total, which may surprise some people. Golden State, 37-17 and 17 run under the total. When they head out on the road, 35-16 and 16 under the total. Meanwhile, you get this Oklahoma City team that loves to run and gun, and they're 10-4 and four over the total at home. So what happens when they meet up head-to-head? -head? Well, the home team has dominated 18-7-1 against the spread, and Golden State in Oklahoma City just 3-8-1 ATS. We'll see you back on Tuesday with more winning information at ProLine Daily.